father got a threat because he's a professor at the college. Mil malicious ruling, controlling, government changes, democracy now. Family leaves. Leaves everything behind, including me. Year after year, walking out of the house, thinking, and talking to the door. I will I hope I will see you soon. Bodies on the street, no one can touch them, no one can move. The side of death is everywhere. And the smell of hell is evident on earth. On top of all, I know now that heroes are dream. I had no Superman. I had to finish my studies though. 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008. 2009, 2010. Done. I finished. Time to go home. But where is home? Iraqis are like that. After the war, homeless people in a continuous search to belong. It's the case for me. My country in heart will give my life to serve and save. But where is home? <coughs> I say it's where the heart is. But what if my heart is far away where I cannot reach? I will need to search again. Nowadays, the world is over. Over. 60 to 70 life expectancy. 33.3% infant mortality rate. 2 million and more Iraqi refugees scattered between countries that don't even want them. 65% of Iraqi living in neglect and poverty. With $120 billion budget for the government. Who takes that? Who knows? Government? An entire country ruled by few? What change? Is that democracy? Being killed for you want to have votes? For being less religious? For being Christian? For being gay? For being different kind of Muslim? For being free? Oh, I definitely have different dictionary. A country ruled by the biggest embassy in the world. I wonder what that is. I'm sorry if I'm being explicit. I will try, I promise. I will try to be more diplomatic now. I will say, we are doing better. Growing economically. Democracy is developing. No, I cannot, I cannot do it. Health crisis. Fallujah, Hawijah, Najaf, and so many more. No one knows, but I will tell you now. Keep it a secret though, because this is how it should go. Important thing, never to be let out. We should bury them alive. The idea I'm talking about, it's war. War is the reason. Depleted uranium has been used. As well as white phosphorus, now I'm confused. All the population were affected, old and young. And kids now too? Being poisoned even in their mom's womb. Congenital malformation, sterility, infertility, abnormal cancer types, and infant stability too. No worries 
so the word is women decided not to get babies no more. United States says nothing about that. Iraq elected government will hush anyone who breathes about the subject. And and that was just an Iraqi film and a, a side note. Everyday explosion, no stability, no mortal no morality. People being abducted from their life, from their families, young and healthy, found dead in marks, better yet, on the streets. April twenty, election. April twenty, explosion that killed thirty two persons. April twenty, a protest that started in a small part of the northern part of Iraq. A small village that my father comes from, Hawija it's called, where the people are so simple and so nice. They live on farming and raising animals, peacefully protesting to get some sense into their life, to tell the government, listen to us. Asking for simple necessities in life, water, electricity, and on the serious side, for the innocent president to let out. They got killed, not only killed, bombed by the military. 50 persons dead, 150 wounded, badly wounded, but cannot be treated because they should die. They are terrorists, they want to change. And of course, you as are worried about Iraq. They care too much. I'm so touched. <laughs> I have been told to keep still. Not to move, not to speak. Not to speak a word, for I might be killed. Or I might get something that I don't like. I will say I said nothing. I was reading a poem that I, I know not about. Was walking, talking, found it on the ground. Stopping war is in our hands. By letting people know what it does and its implications are, war is easy. Militarization, a black plan, attack, boom. We're done. What comes after the war should be gone. Hand in hand will spread the word. Tell your friends and pick your sword. Use it, to, use it as a knife to cut a cake. Never to use it as a weapon to slay dragon's head, for they are nice creatures after all. And please shout now with me. No to war, no to war. Not to war, not to war, not to war, not to war.